Are you someone who smokes a cigarette at least once a day? I know it gives you pleasure, but do you know how it affects your blood and eventually your health? My name is Dr. Karna Kumar, consultant hematologist and bone marrow transplant physician. Let's get into the topic. Erythrocytosis is when your body makes red blood cells more than required. Red blood cells are also called erythrocytes. These cells have a molecule called hemoglobin in them, which carries oxygen to your body. So whenever there is erythrocytosis, it can be two things. It can be increased red blood cells or increased hemoglobin. So eventually increased red blood cells translates to high hemoglobin percentage. So normally hemoglobin ranges between 12 grams to 16 grams. So anything more than 16.5 gram, we say patient has a high hemoglobin. So what are the causes of high hemoglobin here? So is it safe to have high hemoglobin in your body? So if you look at the causes, so commonly in our day to day practice, secondary causes are the most common. So what do you mean by secondary? So something peripherally acting on your body, stimulating your body to produce more hemoglobin. Smoking tops the list. So when you smoke, so there are a lot of toxic gases which are released in your body, which creates a hypoxic environment. Whenever your body senses hypoxia, it stimulates more and more red blood cells. So why? To carry more oxygen to the body. So thereby leading to the more high hemoglobin. So is it safe to have high hemoglobin? So well, the studies have shown that whenever you have high hemoglobin, your blood viscosity increases. When your viscosity goes up, or blood tends to clot. So there is chances for thrombotic tendency you know, in multiple blood vessels of our body. So similarly, there are other causes you know, which can lead to high hemoglobin, like say patients having respiratory disease, cardiac disease, even these patients have a hypoxic environment in their body, which, you know, which leads to high hemoglobin production. So people living at high altitudes, you know, these can also have high hemoglobin. And if you look at the primary causes, so more of, you know, blood related disorders called polycythemia vera. So where there is a failure of regulation of the red blood cell production leading to excessive hemoglobin in your body. So polycythemia vera can be diagnosed by few blood tests and doing a bone marrow examination. And there are also some situations where there will be a uh, erythropoietin hormone dysfunction leading to uh, high hemoglobin. And also few conditions like you know, mal cancers, malignancies. Some tumors can produce high erythropoietin levels, thereby leading to high hemoglobin percentage. So these are all the various uh, causes of uh, erythrocytosis. So also it's very important uh, in case of smokers to check their hemoglobin percentage. And how do you control high hemoglobin? So whenever there is an excess hemoglobin, usually st stopping of smoking leads to normalization of hemoglobin over time. So but few patients can have a hemoglobin of 20 grams, even 21 grams also. So these patients especially are at very high risk for development of uh, blood clots. So what these patients should do, they should donate blood. So we call process, we, we call it as a phlebotomy. So they should donate at least a 350 to 400 ml of blood, which leads to uh, reduction of hemoglobin in them initially. So they may require a phlebotomy of at least two to three episodes for their hemoglobin to normalize. And once along with this, if they stop smoking, eventually their hemoglobin becomes normal. Whereas in primary causes, it's very important to add few drugs called uh, hydroxyurea in case of polycythemia, which controls the uh, hemoglobin percentage. Even in such cases, phlebotomy initially uh, helps these patients to achieve normal hemoglobin faster. So we all know that smoking kills, smoking causes cancers. But remember, smoking can also paralyze you through blood clots. Thanks for watching.